Hello, I hope you are keeping safe wherever you are on the nationwide lockdown in South Africa. As the United Nations, we are tasked with looking at what impacts humanity on a daily basis and how to make the world a better place for the most vulnerable of us. In a crisis, this is even more critical. And in my thoughts, around what matters most right now, it is only leadership and solidarity that is going to get us through this. The president of South Africa has shown leadership in making the decisions he has made for the country's safety. It is our own turn now, yours and mine, to take that leadership and lead with solidarity. Leadership is about thinking before acting, setting an example for others. Solidarity is ensuring that we do things for the benefit of all, not just for ourselves or only a few. In the crisis we are facing now, we are only as safe as the sickest person in our country, continent, and the world. This disease does not understand race, gender, age, world, borders, and even status. It does not confirm to humanity's sense of hierarchy, but it does attack the most vulnerable of us all and those who are uninformed and unaware. Based on this today, I want to talk about fake news and the impact that this information and misinformation has on making this crisis so much worse. If leading is about thinking and acting, then are we thinking before we act? When we share information, are we thinking and checking that all that we share is indeed factual? Are we holding ourselves accountable for the information that we feel we should share? We could be arrested after all. And also, are we thinking about whether we are the right people to share this information? It sounds like a lot, I know, but we are living through a crisis not experienced by this generation before. Fake news leads to people not following instruction or not taking precautions seriously or worse, thinking that every symptom they have Googled is a sign they have the virus. Healthcare workers need to focus on the most critical and they cannot be distracted. We need to keep ourselves safe and informed. The old adage rings true, knowledge is power. Build our knowledge from reputable sources and thrust only information from the right places. Think before you read or look at something and ask yourself a very simple question. Where, who did this come from? I am Dr. Ayodele Odishola from the United Nations Development Program in South Africa. Let's spread facts, not fear.